This video is a guide to using your insulin pen. This video will show you how to 1. Use the different types of insulin pens. 2. Choose a good injection site. 3. Prepare for an injection and choose the right pen needle. And 4. Do the injection. There are several different types of insulin pens. Some insulin pens are disposable with the insulin already in the pen. There is a plunger in the pen. Once it is at the end of the pen, you will need to use a new pen. Once the pen is empty, you can throw the whole pen in your recycle bin. Non-disposable insulin pens. Some insulin pens are non-disposable. They have a reusable pen which holds an insulin cartridge that is inserted into the pen. To open and replace the insulin cartridge, some of the non-disposable pens twist with the two parts of the pen moving in opposite directions. Other pens unscrew. The insulin cartridge is put into the pen with the smaller end going in first. Non-disposable pens also have a plunger. Once the plunger is at the end of the insulin cartridge, you must replace the cartridge in the pen. Caring for your insulin pen and cartridge. Once you start using a disposable insulin pen or a pen with an insulin cartridge, keep them at room temperature. Insulin is only good for 28 days at room temperature. If you have not used all the insulin at the end of the 28 days, throw the remainder away and use a new pen or cartridge. Insulin pens or cartridges that you are not using should be kept in the refrigerator until you need them or until they expire. Check the box they come in for the expiry date. All insulin pen or cartridges hold a minimum of 300 units of insulin, allowing for multiple doses. The pen dials up units of insulin. The way to dial up the dose is by twisting the knob at the end of the pen. For the Novo non-disposable pens, you need to pull out the end before dialing. Choosing a good injection site. For adults, the abdomen is the best place to do the injection because the insulin is absorbed the same each time. Other possible sites are the thighs and buttocks. The arm is not recommended because it is very easy to inject in the muscle. To inject in the abdomen, do not inject within 2 centimeters or 1 inch of your belly button. There are a lot of blood vessels in this area. Do not inject within two centimeters or one inch of any bones like your hip or ribs. Do not inject into scar tissue from injuries or surgeries. Do not inject where there are bumps or lumps from lipohypertrophy. Lipohypertrophy is damaged tissue that happens when insulin has been injected into the same area many times. Scar tissue occurs under the skin with decreased blood flow to the area. Decreased blood flow means that if you inject in this area, the insulin will not be absorbed and will not work as good as it should. Avoid these areas for at least three months. To prevent lipohypertrophy, do not inject in the same area. Keep moving your injection sites over by one finger width. Keep rotating to different areas. If you move to a new injection area, be careful of low blood sugars as your insulin may now absorb faster and work better. Preparing for injection. To prepare for an injection, you will need your insulin pen and a pen needle. Choose the right needle. The pen needle should be four to six millimeter needle. You will find the size of the needle on the tear-off tab on the pen needle. Use a new needle each time you inject. Next, wash your hands. Before preparing for or doing the injection to reduce your chance of getting an infection. 
pull the cap off the pen and check to make sure there is enough insulin. Check the insulin in the pen. The insulin in the pen or cartridge may be cloudy or clear. If it is a cloudy insulin, there are two types of insulin in the pen. The insulin must be mixed so that you get the right amount of insulin. To mix the insulin, roll the pen between your palms 10 times, then tip the pen 10 times. This should be done before every injection. Pull the tab off the pen needle and attach it to the pen by twisting the needle clockwise until it is tight. Remove the two caps from the needle. Dial up two units. Push the bottom of the pen to release the air from the needle. Look for a drop of the insulin on the end of the needle. If there is no insulin, dial up another two units and push the bottom again. Repeat these steps until you see insulin at the end of the needle. Dial up the dose of insulin you will inject. Doing the injection. First, put the needle in your skin straight in, not at an angle. If you're very thin, you might need to pinch your skin and lift it up to prevent the injection from going into the muscle. Inject the insulin by pushing the button at the bottom of the pen all the way in. Check to make sure the dial goes to zero. Count to 10. While leaving the needle in place so that you will get all of the insulin, you will know if you didn't leave the needle in long enough if your skin is wet or you smell insulin. Remove the needle from your skin. Recap the needle using the larger outer cap. Turn it to the left to remove the needle. Throw the needle in a sharps container or glass container with a lid. Never put the needle into your regular garbage. Do not store the pen with the needle attached as air can be pulled into the pen if the room temperature changes. This video has shown you the different types of insulin pens, how to choose a good injection site, how to prepare for an injection and choose the right pen needle, how to give yourself an injection. If you have any questions on how to use your insulin pen, talk to your health care provider, go to the company website, or look at the instruction manual for your insulin pen.